Hi guys, welcome back to this series on Google ML Kit in iOS. So today we are going to see object detection along with classification. So object detection model in Google actually offers both the things while the classification is not as strong as a standard image classification, but it can still work to your advantage. So let us see a demo. So this is object detection with classification. So let me select the same image that we selected for classifications. You can see here it has detected some objects. One is the uh, rows. And the other is the small birds and for the rows it is able to classify it as plant so it's not classifying all the labels but it is still able to classify some of them maybe give it some faces so it will not identify all the faces but like some of them fine so this uh model is not so strong in classification but it's quite strong in detection so you can see here it's able to detect most of the items in the image you can of course retrain the model to your own convenience while this is a general purpose model to detect some objects now this object is dual purpose in the sense that it also does classification if it is one of the known labels now if you want to see the code uh, the first thing of course is the pod file so we have this object detection uh, under Google ML Kit, and then once we have that, uh, we have two types of detector. So the difference is in the detector mode. So we can either have a single image detector or a stream detector. We use the single image uh, detector for we use the single image detector for uh, photo frames, while the stream is used for other video frames. Other things remain the same. Uh, so we enable classification and multiple object detection while for stream mode we have disabled multiple objects because it's a little heavier on the model okay so rest everything remains the same you get the vision image from ui image and then you pass it to the detector and you get objects and error in its parts now once you have the objects these objects actually contain a lot of things so if you see here every object will have a map from where we can actually get the frame so this is the frame in the image that original image that we have passed the labels so both the things so that is how we are able to actually plot uh, these objects in the image itself so this frame is actually returned by the model itself along with the labels if there are any so if we see this again so you can see it planted the rows frame and also gave us the label so that is how we were able to label it accordingly so all the code is already set up it's already part of the github repo the link is in the description so if you want to reuse it for something else it's much easier to do it this way if you have any comments if you want to know something more about it please do leave your comments below the video and i will try to get back to you thank you for watching